Range is hot. Today, hot. questions about single bullets and lone assassins are still being asked. But the answers are, in essence, always the same. You essentially put Lee Harvey Oswald on trial. Oh, absolutely. And, absolutely. You, and you won. You convicted him. Yeah. Former Los Angeles County prosecutor Vincent Bugliosi knows a thing or two about evidence. He put Charles Manson behind bars. Is this what you expected? Yes, definitely. More recently, he wrote a 1,500-page analysis of the Warren report and walked away convinced the commission got it right. So I'm not just satisfied beyond a reasonable doubt of Oswald's guilt. I'm satisfied beyond all doubt. It's not even an open question. Beyond all doubt. Beyond all doubt. Even though Oswald said he was a patsy and never admitted to any of it. That doesn't mean anything, of course. If he had the immorality and the boldness to kill the President of the United States, certainly he had the much lesser immorality to deny doing it. Why are you convinced there was no conspiracy? I told a jury once, I said, folks, I will stipulate that three people can keep a secret, but only if two are dead. And here, after 50 years, not one credible word of a conspiracy. Not one syllable is leaked out. Why? Because there's nothing to leak out. It's all simple, unadulterated nonsense. And there are signs that more people are indeed wrapping their heads, if not their hearts, around the idea that Oswald did act alone. A recent CBS News poll shows a majority still believes others were involved, but that number is declining from 75 percent 20 years ago to 61 percent today. Here comes Oswald down the hall again. Now, as then, it was unfathomable. But I emphatically deny these charges. CBS News commentator Eric Severide might have said it best. What fed the conspiracy notion about the Kennedy assassination among many Americans was the sheer incongruity of the affair. All that power and majesty wiped out in an instant by one skinny, weak-chinned little character. It was like believing that the Queen Mary had sunk without a trace because of a log floating somewhere in the Atlantic. And that conspiracy notion may likely exist 50 years from now. Truth is, no amount of evidence can explain what has been to so many the unexplainable.